How's it going, Bruce? Good. 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 How are you today? Good. Good. You having fun at uh, IMS this year? Oh yeah. Every year we come here, it's been a, a Lots real of fun. Real fun. Yeah. Awesome. Seeing all the people, and it's almost like a family reunion each yeah. year. Honolulu. You like it? Uh, yeah. 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 How, what's there not to like right. about Honolulu, right? <laughs> no, I agree. Hey, uh, so this year, what do you have? What do you have that's new this year? Well, we've got the SM200 that we're introducing here at IMS. It's been out uh, in the R&D land for two years, almost two and a half years, and uh, we've still got a little bit more development to do on it. We've got a prototype here, and uh, I think people will be hard-pressed to tell the difference between the prototype and the real production model. So. We're substantially there. Uh, we're pretty proud of the, what we've accomplished with it, and, and I think there's going to be a lot of attention that we're going to get at the show here from this new product. Ah, that sounds great. Yeah, we're looking forward to learning more about it. Uh, I noticed that the SM200A looks a lot larger than the other uh, spectrum analyzers you guys have created in the past. Uh, is that because of the frequency? Is that because it goes to 20 gigahertz? Not really. No, the uh, the 20 gigahertz part is just a really a uh, small part of the, the actual cubic inches volume of the product. The, the greatest part of the volume came from the high performance that we packed into the device. We had to uh, actually uh, do quite a bit of extra work sure. to get it as small as it is. Mm -hmm. So uh, it is larger than the other products that we have, but in terms of the performance, it's actually a very small package. Uh, there isn't anything out there with this kind of performance in this small of a package. Well, I mean, in terms of that performance, how did you pack that much performance into this small space? Well, so we did the same the same thing that we've done with our other products in that we use a USB interface to have processing done in the PC. So, of course, all of the traditional things that you see in a single box or a big box solution, that they're not there, so that volume has came out. Um, and when you do the processing outboard and, and uh, you have all just the RF front end inside and uh, the digital stuff, we've got a big FPGA in there now, mm -hmm. um, it substantially reduces the size of the, of the product. Uh, but like I say, it's, it's uh, small for what it does because there is so much performance in there. Yeah, I mean it does. It's, it is small for what it does. Uh, I mean, it, it sounds like the SM200A is truly a high-performance spectrum analyzer, though versus, you know, the smaller form factor you've had in the past. So it is. I mean, because the the BB60 we used to call our high-performance model. Now that's our mid-range performance model. The SM200, the for example, the sweep speed. We've got a one terahertz per second sweep speed on a. At, at uh, 30 kilohertz RBW. That's amazingly fast. We've also got the um, 160 megahertz of instantaneous bandwidth. There was a lot of people that wanted some bigger bandwidth. Everybody wants more mm -hmm. bandwidth, so we put that in there. Mm -hmm. uh, the phase noise is about 30 dBs better on average from the uh, BB60. You know, there's a little more, a little less as you go across the the range, but uh, yes, it's fantastic. In fact, the phase noise competes with the most expensive spectrum analyzers that are on the market today. Oh yeah. Uh, and what goes along with that phase noise is dynamic range, and we've got 110 dB of dynamic range, which is a fantastic dynamic range. Oh yeah. We've also thrown in uh, pre-selectors from 20 megahertz to 20 gigahertz, so that's that helps greatly in the spectrum monitoring. Uh, community and uh, whenever there's a high level noise and you want to see a low level or a high level signal and you want to see a low mm -hmm. level signal really close in next to it, mm -hmm. you can do it with the SM200 oh. uh, without any problem. Yeah. Oh, that's excellent. Well, I mean, in terms of all of those things, how did you determine what balance to make in the features of this device in the SM200A? Spent a lot of time talking to customers. You know, the customers telling us what what they want and. Uh, we've sold quite a bit of BB60s and in all of that we've had customers that have kept and cataloged the information and uh, that they've said, uh, well, you know, this is a great product, but we could use a little bit more dynamic range or we could use a little bit faster sweep speed or we could use bigger instantaneous bandwidth. Well, we put all of that into this product and in addition to all of that, we've put the uh, GPS uh, receiver inside of it. And it uh, disciplines and OCXO and you, you put all that together and it's just a fantastic performing uh, instrument and it goes up to 20 gigahertz so I think it's going to get a lot of attention 
So it, it, to you, it feels like you covered all the bases. Then, right? I, I can't imagine what base we haven't covered. <laughs> you know, the, uh, okay, I can say one thing. Granted, our spurious uh, is a, a higher, a little bit higher than if you pay the big box price to get a big box. The big box guys have better spurious performance, but our spurious is very, very respectable. So. You know, unless you need the best spurious performance there is, uh, I'd be hard pressed to think of an application where this box won't work. Hey, well, it sounds great. I'm sure I'm, uh, I bet you're interested in the feedback you get from the show. We're all interested to see how it pans out for you here. So good luck and have fun. Thank you. Thank you. Have right. a good day. All right. Thanks. You too.